good morning. It's your daily dose of Complete Health with your local chiropractor, Patrick Hogg. And there seems to be a really important topic, a very important topic that is getting discussed in the clinic quite a lot recently. I've done a few talks and as a result, I've had a few clients that potentially would not have normally seen me. I seem to be very attractive in the space of getting healthy and physically young clients through the door. However, what we've recently have had is from some of the talks, we've had some other populations where there's been high numbers of people with things like comorbidities, high blood pressure, diabetes, pre-diabetes, heart disease, um, swelling of the legs, etc. And interestingly enough, there is a commonality with all of them, which all of them are aware of. There's a commonality with all of them that we are aware of, and it's their weight. So I really wanted to talk about like the th- really the three things uh, with like a bonus on the third one uh, of the three things that I quite often see which stop people from being able to understand or how to control their weight and how you can simply use the same things to actually start controlling the weight. So the three things that I generally see, I generally see, is uh, people over-consuming, they're over-consuming food, not always knowingly, by the way, because one of the simplest things with food is that a carbohydrate and a protein is only four grams of calorie, uh, sorry, four calories per gram, not four grams of calories per gram, four calories per gram, they're four calories per gram, whereas a fat is actually nine calories per gram, which means that you get more than two times the calories from fats as what you do from carbohydrates for a meal the same size. The other thing is the types of foods that we choose The types of foods that we choose. Now, if something is very refined, something is very refined, we tend to digest it faster, which means ironically we become hungrier earlier. Become hungrier earlier. And with that, that tends to throw off the other one, which was the bonus, which is timing. Because when we eat certain foods, especially stuff like sugary cereals for breakfast, we tend to find that we're then hungry again by the mid-morning because our insulin levels have spiked and then they've dropped down again. So our brain gets that signal saying to actually eat a second time round. And it's not even lunchtime yet, which guess what? We end up reaching for something else that's sugary, it spikes our blood glucose, and as a result, that peak and trough goes on throughout the day. And ironically, it causes people to then go into the category number one, which is over-consume. And the last thing that I see that is a massive problem with why people can't control their weight is that since modern living, mobile phones, cars, TV remotes, uh, lawnmowers that you can sit on, uh, electric tools, no one has to do anything manually anymore, which means that we've become much more sedentary than we used to be. Now, there's a really interesting uh, TED talk on YouTube, it's called The Mathematics of Weight Loss, and a gentleman will literally show you how much mass you will lose if you blow into a balloon, if you blow into a balloon, he will show you how much mass is in that balloon as far as what you have just respired, or what you have just exhaled in your breath, by freezing in liquid nitrogen and showing you it as a powder. Now, interestingly enough, every time we take a breath, we are actually losing some weight. So as we breathe out, the carbon dioxide has to leave our body. And what's constantly happening inside of our body is our our cells are respiring and they are using the chemicals in which that we have eaten our food and breaking those down to provide us with the resources to regrow cells, provide energy for cells, help us move, keep our neurons firing, etc 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 so our food is broken down by those cells and once it is done like your car the emissions coming out of the exhaust come back out of our body now the more we move much like a car those emissions are then produced 
simple. So if you're driving your car less and you keep filling it up with petrol, the tank will overflow. And then you have to find places to store the petrol. And guess where on most of us, that tends to go? To our gut. So it's really interesting that this has been a huge conversation in the clinic with me because so many people are struggling, especially since the lockdowns, to manage their weight because they've lost track with their diet. Now, really simple. The three simplest things that I can get people to do is eat well, eat right, and, or sorry, eat less, eat right, and move more. Because it's all very well, it's all very well eating less. However, if you are eating inappropriate foods, eventually what is going to happen is your blood glucose levels are going to change and most people will fall off the wagon. So if you do things like really seriously restricting your calories, really restricting your calories, what you sometimes will find is it will make you incredibly hungry, you'll stay on track for a period of time, and then you'll fall straight off. So one of the simplest things that I've found personally is that when you start to eat a whole foods diet, e.g. stuff like lean meats, whole grains, fruits, vegetables, and you cut out 99% of processed foods, all of a sudden, it is much more difficult to gain weight. So when we cut out stuff like biscuits and cakes and chocolate bars and bread and all the stuff that has had to go through a factory to be produced, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, it is much more difficult to gain weight. Why? It's higher in fiber, it's lower in calories, it's lower in salt, it's lower in sugar. And so interestingly, it becomes a lot, lot easier to then control and maintain the weight. So maybe you're struggling with weight and maybe you need a little bit more help on this stuff. And again, I'm super comfortable to talk about this, but all you need to do is just ping us a message. I have got a list of foods from certain authors that are quite restrictive, however, have been pretty much guaranteed proven process to reverse the signs of inflammation, reverse the signs of aging, and actually help you to get on control of stuff like their diabetes and their weight. Because a lot of the time when we look on the internet and we look through the resources, the information is very difficult to decipher. So look after yourself, eat well, <laughs> eat less, m move more, but make sure you're eating the right foods as well. And if you need guidance on the right bit, that's the bit where we obviously need to have a conversation. Patrick from Complete Health, I will speak to you again very, very soon. Take care for now.